And now, coming to you live from downtown Jackson, Volcano's 104th resident and host of LOL, Ed Tracy! Out loud, everybody. I'm your host, Ed Tracy. How are we doing, everybody? Make some noise. All five of you. We got a great show in store for you today. Musical guest Lance Harmon, everybody, is in the uh, owner of Motherload Music. Comedian Daniel Eaches. There he is. Look at look, look at the, look at the TV behind him. There's like 900 of him. So look at him. If you, that's awesome. And our co-host today from the Amador Ledger Dispatch, the one, the only, the incomparable, legendary Jack Mitchell, everybody. Yeah. He's in the house. Yeah. Oh, oh, very excited. Anything goes today. Somebody's getting arrested, I guarantee it. So, uh, yeah, early morning Friday. Uh, as you know, I, I managed the uh, Volcano Union Inn. Shameless plug, shameless plug. Thank you, both of you. Uh, Daffodil Hill is over. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I, don't get me wrong. I love the Ryans. We love the tourists. We love them. We, some of the busiest days we have is when Daffodil Hill is open. But if you've ever been through town in Volcano during Daffodil Hill, it's like a moving parking lot, right? And everybody's 90. It's like God's waiting room, walk, driving, up the, driving up the road. Everybody with their, their blinker on the whole two miles, is, that's called an eventual left in Florida. But glad it's over. We had a great, great couple of weeks, and uh, the weather's great. It's not, like 90 degrees yesterday, whatever, 80-something degrees yesterday. It's amazing, amazing. We're going to have a great summer. So uh, what I do usually is I read a couple of jokes that people send to me. Uh, I, could <laughs> I can't read them all. Let's just put it that way. Some of them are, some of them are very good and will never be read on television. Uh, so I'll just read a couple here. Guy, uh, I was at a poker tournament when a gorgeous woman came up to me and said, Do you know any card tricks? I said, look, honey, I'm a professional poker player. I've strived for years to perfect my game. I'm not some sort of cheesy, weird magician. She says, oh, that's a shame. Magicians get me so worked up. I said, pick a card. <laughs> anyway. uh, blonde with two burnt ears goes to the doctor and says, the phone rang, and I accidentally picked up the iron. The doctor said, what about the other ear? She said, they called back. <laughs> These get worse. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, two old guys in a retirement village were sitting in the reading room, and one said to the other, how do you really feel? I mean, you're 72 years old. How do you honestly feel? Honestly, I feel like a newborn baby. I've got no hair and no teeth, and I just wet myself. <laughs> I love you, Gail. Gail's got the best. I could sit here and pick my nose, and Gail would laugh. That's the best part about Gail. All right, one more, and then we'll, we'll go on. Um, reporters interviewing a 104-year-old woman. And what do you think is the best thing about being 104? The reporter said... She simply replied, no peer pressure. Da -da -da. Shh. <laughs> Give it up for Lance Harmon, everybody. Play us a little song there. <laughs> Woo, Lance Harmon, everybody. Lance owns Motherload Music, if you've never been there. Quite a store on, what's that, Prospect? Prospect Drive, great place, and uh, big store, big store. You give lessons and everything there, right? I hope so. They got a room for that. They do. Is that what that's for? I think so. Oh. I've heard people. Jack Mitchell. I've heard people. <laughs> Jack Mitchell. What are you doing, Good kiddo? Good to see you, pal. My wife was a little worried. I woke up this morning and said, I'm getting dressed for Ed. And she said, I beg your pardon. But uh, I made it down here. Uh, she's a little worried. I don't blame so. her, man. I don't blame her. It's good to see you, buddy. So, so you're legendary. Everybody says you gotta have legendary? Jack. Legendary. You gotta have Jack on the show. You gotta have Jack on the show. We have a censor button today because Jack Mitchell is on the show. It's gonna say be a lot of beeps. <laughs> I figured you always had one. Gail's in the audience. That's you gotta true. Have, oh you gotta my have, gosh. Like you've learned to use it, I'm sure. We um, I talk slower when Gail's in the audience. <laughs> Most people do in front of Gail. And then that way she understands. <laughs> She's got, she's got shoulder pads when she comes to this show because they ask her questions and she oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, nice Gail Gail Fairbrother um, so what's going on in your world just new I've just been working on the paper and running around you know I've got to put together the call logs always entertaining I love uh, those call logs people don't like it when I read those call logs I love them well that's because it's in the paper people you know you don't want to offend the two readers I have so uh, 
Well, that's double what we have for viewership, so <laughs> you should be still lucky. <laughs> no, there was uh, an aggressive skunk chasing a horse and a woman's husband. At I the think same that time? Was, I don't know if it's at the same time or if it was two different skunks. This that was in today. Is, this is so much better than the call line. It was, uh, awesome. it was very, very big news. Very, very exciting stuff. What, uh, <laughs> how many days a week does the paper come out? I know mean, you got mother load news, right? We got mother load on the midweek and the Ledger Dispatch on Friday. And it goes to the same place? No, mother load goes out actually to Calaveras County and Amador County. It's about 30,000. So the print's bigger and less words. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. And where's my teeth? The words are, the words are shorter, so Calaveras will understand. Can you say that? Can you say that? Is that all right? Is that good? Yes, you can. There you go. There you go. Show you that. There you go. Hey, right. And uh, Friday is Friday. <laughs> We're so in trouble right now. No. It's awesome. No. This is the best show ever. Best show ever. <laughs> show number 10, by the way. I'm very excited. 10th anniversary. 10 shows. 10th anniversary. Are That's we doing 10th it? 10th anniversary. In the 10th anniversary? We are. We are. 10th Did you anniversary. Buy What's the 10th anniversary? Paper? Aluminum? Aluminum. Probably paper. Aluminum? Paper. Aluminum. 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 You would know. Aluminum. We'll have to do the aluminum later. I hardly know you, but okay. Well, yeah, whatever you want, pal. <laughs> uh, so, how, how, how long have you been publisher? Oh, way too long. At least a week. Uh, about 15 years. 15 I think. years, I think man. Something That's like that. Awesome. Five years somewhere else before seen, that. Seen a lot of changes, huh, in the newspaper? Oh, yeah. It's been crazy. They always are fighting over different things. And same, same discussions year after year, though. It's kind of, kind yeah, of interesting. Sure. So, yeah. It's There's not stuff. much to talk about in this county, so they have to repeat themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and so they understand. I mean, if you say it the first time, they don't always catch you. I got, go I got a feeling they're going to have something to talk about after today, though. <laughs> I just something tells me. One lots of, of trouble? Yes. Lots of trouble. I feel lots of trouble. Where are you from originally? Minnesota. Minnesota? Minnesota. I bet you're not, I bet you're not missing it right now. Minnesota, no. Holy no. Shit. Do you ever it's, meet Mary Tyler Moore? No. Okay. I did. I did walk. Down Bob. The, I did walk down the street and throw my hat in the air one time. Just, <laughs> you did. And that happens all the time on that street. You yeah. watch people, you know, one after right. the other. Of course, they're getting older now. There's the young kids are like, what's going on? They don't yeah, they understand. Have no idea. They have no idea. Plus, the skull caps could kill somebody. And they could. You throw it in the air. You sure. Get shot at. Sure. It, it could hurt. That kind of stuff will hurt you. And uh, <laughs> yeah, especially fishing. Fishing. Grew like up fishing on the lake uh, in Lake City. Haven't fished here ever. What? You've been here 13 years, 15 never years, fish. never fished. Never fish. What do you do for fun? Mm, Can you say much, that on television? Not, not much. I don't really think, yeah. This is a family show, I heard. It is. I'm, it I'm is. restricted. Restri no, I golf a little bit, and uh, there's a lot of uh, fundraisers and stuff. Yeah, you're pretty enjoy, active so. in the community, yeah, yeah. huh? So it's, it's fun you stuff. you always got something going on. It's crazy. You, you, ever, you ever done Beth's uh, Sherlockian Society? You ever been to one of those meetings? No, I She uh, likes to dress up. I know. <laughs> It's weird when she does it at work. It's the interesting thing. But uh, I understand it when you're doing, you know, at the society. But when it's at work, you're kind of like, okay. She was in last night. It was her husband's birthday. She came into the restaurant. Yeah, Brad night. Bernard turned Brad. 21. 21, like three looks, times. Looks horrible. He looks you know, just awful. Ugliest woman he I've looks, ever seen. He is. He looks like he ate old. an earlier version of himself. Is the hard part that I believe. I mean, it's kind of like my high school reunion was at. I went back. <laughs> Some of us are putting on the pounds. Man. We're kind of Laurel, Laurel and Hardy. You're taking them off. I'm putting I'm them on. I'm feeling okay, pal. 50 pounds. 50 the pounds. camera adds 10 pounds, so I'm assuming they have about 15 of them on me right now. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, sure. You can't see what's down oh, below, sure. but he's doing okay. That's uh, none of their business. Yes. Yes. I don't think they have the zoom for the camera for that. <laughs> That's a panoramic shot, everybody. We are going down the toilet fast. <laughs> so, um... Well, I still have a job. We like to read tweets that people send to us, and uh, some of them are funny, some of them are not. We encourage you to laugh, even if they're not funny. And um, it's time to get hooked on phonics, people. Hooked on phonics. Ready? Reading is fundamental. It is. You're probably too. I can see you guys all understand that. The twelve-year-old in the back row got it, but that was it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, um, Hula Hooper girl, how old are you? I'm actually nineteen, almost twenty. That is fantastic. 19, almost 20. Almost 20. Almost you will stop 20. saying it that way after 20. And uh, how long have you been dating the guy from Metallica over there? Yeah. It's nice. nice That's, to nice. See you. That's a good look. What is that, bro? He what? About three years. Awesome. Stick around. We're going to let you bite that bat's head off later. It's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Ozzy That's Osbourne good. in the back. Ozzy, I remember stuff. that. A throwback. All right. So we're, <laughs> well, nice so we're going to try to read? Nice seeing you. Uh, so these are... Um, from different people. They sent them in to me. Uh, this one says, uh, and I joke about this actually, so it's kind of funny. Not Will Ferrell sent, I am going to open a store next to Forever 21 and call it Finally 22. <laughs> okay. 
Go ahead. These are these are going over. This is it's uh, it's from Willie Farrell. Uh, if someone says I love you and you don't feel the same way, you just say I love YouTube. Really fast. I love YouTube. I love YouTube. Really fast. I love YouTube. YouTube. I love YouTube. I love Thank YouTube. you, folks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for being there for me. <laughs> wow. Can I kill an audience or yeah. what? That no, was yeah. phenomenal. I don't feel alone anymore. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, Wendy Aaron said, mornings would be easier if the school bus driver would agree to circle the block a few times while my kids look for his shoes. That would be true. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. True fact. Let's see, suburban snapshots. There are a few victories more satisfying than successfully transferring a sleeping child from her five-point car seat directly into bed. But, um, uh, That's true. Uh, Anybody have children uh, out there? Anyone want some? You go, hey, no, yeah. no, 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 no. The word's no. right out of my mouth. <laughs> it's like we came from the same person. It is. It's just like we duplicated each other. Jim, ja Jim Gaffigan says, there should be a children's song. If you're happy and you know it, keep it to yourself and let your dad sleep. <laughs> that... It's awesome. When a woman says she'll be ready in five minutes, I know I have just enough time to fly to space and finish building my Death Star before we go. <laughs> True story. Are you ever on time for anything, Barbara? Yes, I am. You liar. Can't be. And one last one before we go to break here. It's funny tweets. When you're at someone's house, normal people say, what a lovely house. Me? What's your Wi-Fi password? Hey! Lance, take us to break. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> The segment you just watched in all of TSPN's programming is now being posted to YouTube, so you can watch our programming when you want to. Simply go to TSPN's YouTube channel, choose the Program Playlist button, and if you want to share the clip with a friend, just copy the link and send it. Thank you. We're TSPN TV. Use us.